Max Verstappen claimed his 15th victory of the 2022 F1 season, taking the chequered flag at the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix this November. But his car wasn't the only drawing attention from crowds that weekend. Good morning. This fleet of all-electric autonomous vehicles helped fans get to and from the racetrack. This is our smart mobility project. Uh, it consists of uh, three automatic uh, rapid transit, um, six uh, mini or robo buses and eight uh, robo taxis. The company testing these moving robots is Bayonet, an Abu Dhabi-based geospatial intelligence firm. They're called taxis, despite what looks like a typo in the branding. And while the vehicles are designed and manufactured overseas, the software they are running on is homegrown in Abu Dhabi. Our core is a geospatial data. We are building the map itself, we are building the 3D map, so the, the car itself, it will understand where it's moving. The UAE ranks eighth in the world in terms of its overall readiness for autonomous vehicles, according to the latest KPMG index. The research shows the Emirates' infrastructure, such as smooth roads and 4G coverage, is a major strength. It's great for marketing. I think that Abu Dhabi in particular is trying to get away from oil and innovation, high technology, autonomous vehicles. is kind of all in one because it involves batteries, it involves chips, it involves AI, it involves big data. And I think being able to highlight that as part of the infrastructure of your city uh, really, really pushes you to the forefront. But the country doesn't rank quite as high when it comes to available technology. And that was the market gap Bayanat set out to fill. We are not reinventing the wheel over here. So we know exactly where everyone else reached on this technology itself, on, on those softwares. Bayanat is a subsidiary of G42, a company backed by the UAE sovereign wealth fund, Mubadala. The tech firm listed on the Abu Dhabi Securities Exchange in October. Bayanat says overwhelming demand and confidence in these types of business solutions made the IPO possible. The company says it's hoping to further the Emirates' own goal of improving efficiency and safety on the road with autonomous EVs. I do believe that we need to be part of that future. We need to make sure that we are reducing uh, the carbon emission from the street itself, um, seeing more uh, smart uh, mobility. For sure, it means that uh, we will have less accident in this uh, region. Uh, that's our hope. Bayonet's coming out party at the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix was an important milestone. The company began road trials one year ago. The technology is working, but a driver is still on board just in case. The safety officer is um, a mandatory requirement on, on those. This is a new technology. People, they still trying to be cautious on, on allowing the technology to move freely. We intentionally put our fleet on operation during that event because we need them to maximize the data to understand how it will operate on a very crowded area in order to improve our service in the future.